example 15 greatest integer function oda graph kuduthukanga okay you have to understand that this is the graph of a greatest integer function how do you read this graph i taught you that the circled dark shaded ones are supposed to be the included values and wherever you have a hollow circle it is supposed to be the excluded value so if a greatest integer function looks like this so this is my f of x ipo innona what do i see when the value is 0 I have the value of y axis. If in the either one the x axis, and this is my f of x. Correct? Ah? So when my value of x is equal to 0, I'll have my f of x to be 0. When I have my value of x to be 1, 1 the value it is no more here, it is here, it jumps here. Correct? Ah? You see the value it jumps from here to here. When my value of x is 0, it stays here in this line. When my value of x is equal to 1, 1 and the value of f of x becomes 1. Correct? If what happens when my value of x is somewhere here? If it is 0 0.9. So 0 0.9 and then my value is still going to be 0. x is equal to 0 0.9 na f of x is going to be 0. If similarly value on the 2.7. If x of value of x is equal to 2.7 na, what is my value of f of x? It is going to be 2. Okay, so basically, how do you interpret this? How do you ha have this in terms of a function? You have x minus some r where is where r is some value which is greater than 0 ipa inda edathula r oda value enna ipa x oda value vandu 3 nu vechko you have 3 minus 0 0.3 which is going to be 2.7 so this is how you are going to interpret so when you have some value minus r then you will have x minus 1 to be your f of x so idu da f of x idu f of x column idu x column correct ah idu function idu adoda value so when you have x minus r the value of f of x is going to be x minus 1. If 2.7, what is my x? It is 3. And what is my value here? 2.7. So when I have 2.7, this is 2.7 greatest integer function. According to this, x minus r is x minus 1. Up x minus 1 and 3 minus 1, which is 2. So in the 3 is 3. In the 2 is 2. So you see 2.7 is equal to 2. When x is equal to 2.7, the value of f of x is equal to 2. So, you have to remember these two functions when it comes to greatest integer function. If I x plus r, when I take my value of x to be 2. So, when I have 2 plus 0 0.7, this is equal to the greatest integer function of 2.7. And according to this function, this should simply be equal to 2. Correct? But 2.7, it is equal to 2. Okay, it is very very simple. x minus r, x minus 1 x plus r na x itself, where r is some value which is greater than 0. Okay, it is very very simple. These are some examples. So, when you have 2, this is my value of x, this is my value of r. So, the x, the r, I have 2 minus 0 0.1, this is going to be minus na x minus 1. Apo x oda value in 2 minus 1. So, this is 1.9 equal to 1. If a greatest integer function 1.9 and my value of x is equal to 1.9, it is somewhere here. 1.9 now, what is my value? 1. You see, it is over here. So, it is equal to 1. So, it is correct. Similarly, when my value of x is 2 and r would value 0 0.1, but there is a plus. Inge minus irke, inge plus irke. So, when I have a plus, what does my GIF become? Greatest integer function. Enna go? 2 plus 0 0.1 is 2.1. And according to the condition, it is going to be the value of x itself. Apo 2. 2.1 inge irke, inge irke. So, 2.1 would value enna, it is going to be 2. Correct? Ah? You see, the graph is over here. At 2, it is no more 1. In that, this is not a dotted, this is not a uh, shaded one. This is a hollow circle. Okay? But this is the greatest integer function or a graph. At 1, it is going to jump. At 2, it is going to jump. At 3, it is going to jump. Okay? At 3, 3 is value. It will jump to the next level. That is it applies to the negative numbers. So, at one, minus 1, it will be there. Minus 1.1, it is going to jump. Minus 2, the value will be there. Minus 2 point something it is going to jump. In that way, every one layer jump agudo. after minus for the negative numbers, it is going to jump from minus 1.1. Okay, 1.1, 2.1, 3.1. Angada the value is going to jump to the next line. Okay, please remember this. If I have to prove one more, so I know that my greatest integer function is this function f of x is this. Ab f of c and ago it is going to be simply this. And what happens to limit x tends to c of f of x? This is going to be limit x tends to c of x. When I substitute the value of c, I will have c. So, you see that this value and this value is equal. So, either one the case 1. Case 1, this is a simple case. What is case 2? These 2. So, when I have f 
of c is e f of x is equal to x minus r i'll have f of c is equal to c minus r which is going to be c minus 1 adhe mari limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of x minus r when i substitute the value of c i'll have c minus r limit x tends to c of c minus r and i it is again going to be c minus 1 so you see that these two values are equal adhe mari what happens to my next function this case is this is case 1 this is case 2 Case three अभी इरको बोल दे पर positive values so x plus r इरको बोल दे so my f of x is going to be x plus r so my f of c is going to be c plus r now limit x tends to c of f of x which is x plus r is going to be simply c plus r c plus r क्या ना पाता हूँ it is simply going to be c correct ना so this is also going to be simply c c plus r gate is going to be simply c so you see that these two are also equal so it is continuous everywhere okay you have to understand that idu da greatest integer function this is how you prove it this is the basic condition this is when the values are less than x this is when the values are greater than x so if a case 2 ka i can maybe write x values less than x so i can maybe write um, when f of x is less than x and when f of x is greater than x okay so in the mari when i write when your values are less than x and when your values are greater than x okay